Howdy folks, look at this, 19 feet deep, 68 degrees water temperature. They are still not shallow, this crappie is still not shallow up here in Illinois. It's already beginning of June and uh, the weather just hasn't warmed up. It is warm today, but they need a two, three days of warm weather in a row to, to get there. But uh, this is a brand new brush. Somebody must have put this uh, this winter. They probably won't enjoy if they see me fishing it, even though it's a public property now. But um, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to keep a single fish from this brush. But I haven't even cast yet. I saw a bunch of little dots. Might be some bluegill, but should be mostly small white crappie because, I mean, look how far I am from the bank. There is... Why, why would there be bluegill here? But the problem is it's very deep. Uh, I don't have anchor plus, I don't drop anchor when it's 20 foot deep. But my talon cannot reach the bottom and it's pretty windy. So I tied on a kind of a, this is one and a half gram head, new jig I'm testing, bright color. It is June after all. Uh, so they should be hitting the bright color here, but I'm going to do what I always do because I don't know what what to be talking about every time, new topic. So I'm just going to put uh, 30 minutes on the clock again. I don't know if you guys can see anything, but that's 30 minutes starting now. <clears throat> and uh, first cast, here we go. I'm pretty far from the brush because without without a anchor or talon, my trolling motor is so dumb. It would instantly scare the fish. So I try to stay, see? I try to stay as far as possible from the school when I find a good school. See what we have here? Oh, it's a black crappie and it's not small. All right, contestant number one. Contestant number one is here. And he hit a good lure, two inch, but I need some extra weight so I can cast uh, at least 30 feet uh, in this wind. So good start, good start. It will be hard to cast float here in this wind. If I want to fish float, I got to get closer to them. But if I get closer to them without talon, without any kind of anchor, my trolling motor will overrun them, spook them, and then go find fish again. I'm, I'm retrieving it so fast. <coughs> I don't want to be retrieving it so fast, but the wind is kind of pulling my line. This is also a little bit thicker line. This is two and a half pound line. Daiwa Gikabijin polyester line. Two and a half pound is significantly stronger than the Varivas 2.3 pounds in actuality. Because it, the Daiwa Gikabijin line says two and a half and it's 2.3 strong. The Varivas is 2.3 on the label, but 1.9. And uh, definitely not as uh, strong and reliable as the Daiwa line. The only thing is the Daiwa line does not cast as good as the Varivas and is not as sensitive. So there is always a trade-off. But this, this rod is... I mean, I'm always casting my swim baits with this rod, which are like two inch. And you can get a walleye bass, you can get some other stuff. So don't mind having a little bit stronger line. Actually, when I'm done with this two and a half pound line, I'll probably get some three pound nylon and uh, not even worry about sensitivity. Because when you're throwing swim baits, 
sensitivity is not that critical. I mean, they just grab it and pull. What sensitivity, right? There's another fish, number three. Offshore fishing in June. Crazy weather, man. There is a white crappie. Mm. I mangled this barb with the pliers. It's still here, man. Barbs are surprisingly difficult to destroy with pliers. You need like a special barb crusher. Wow, the wind is... The wind is pretty good, folks. I'm gonna have to get closer to the brush even though I'm probably gonna spook them. You think that's enough? Here we go, number four, I believe. You think that's enough pull to keep the head always straight? But it's too stupid to figure out how to do it. I'm not knitting any more fish. Number four. I think that's a Christmas tree that I'm fishing. There is one branch there. And uh, I'm, I may snag. And I'm not gonna have time to retire. And the other rod is trout magnet, which is out of the question to cast against the wind. So if I lose this, I might have to go close and hit them with the float. This is number five. Number five is pretty decent, folks. I'm gonna net him, actually. I will release him, don't worry. I just wanna show him to you. That is a gorgeous fish, number five. Let's not lose too much time. Okay. How do you get, I mean, if there is anything that the line can tangle on, it will tangle on it. It's just, well, I think the wind stopped all of a sudden. I cast like 40 feet. There's no way I'm not catching a fish on this cast. Here we go. You no, know, I gotta tell you, I said in my review that putting bearings on the spool of reels doesn't make any difference for the smoothness of the drag. You don't need that for crappy fishing. But when I said that, I later found a benefit from the bearings. I think the drag sounds better. Very strange, very strange side effect. I think the drag sounds better when it's running on bearings because the bushings I think ever so slightly kill the vibration from the drag sound and when you replace them with bearings now the spool instead of running on plastic bushing is running on a metal bearing which preserves the vibration so all of a sudden my Daiwa Luvius that uh, I never liked because the the drag was uh, so muffled. All of a sudden, the drag sounds pretty good. I mean, you t you tell me that this drag is that's that's not a bad sounding drag. Also, with time, the resistance that I I told you the resistance will go down. But it took months. I mean, it's one e this. Reel is one year old now, and finally, the resistance, I mean, it's not as low as some reels, but it doesn't bother me at this point. It doesn't bother me. What are you gonna do? I mean, there is always something. 
it's fish number seven, if I'm not mistaken, which I usually am. But at this point, I'm enjoying my Dyla Luvius 2000. It is, you know, compared to the Vanford 2000, it is just 100% smooth on the smoothness scale. I give it 100 out of 100. The Dyla Luvius is perfectly smooth, real. I don't think the exist will be smoother than the Luvius. It will be just as good. So, you know, you never know. Sometimes with time, things change. I'm kind of liking my Luvius now. Especially for throwing swim baits, because it's got bigger gears. And when you throw swim baits, um, I mean, you do wear the gears more because you cast and retrieve all the time, cast and retrieve. It's not like float fishing, you cast and you sit and wait. You put, you definitely put less miles float fishing than throwing micro swim baits. I think this one is number eight. Yeah, offshore fishing, offshore fishing can be amazing. Especially if it's windy like right now. If if it was calm, they're gonna drop down and not be active. They're gonna drop to the bottom and you, you're not even gonna see them on the live scope. But when it's windy, they pop on the surface. And you can work them. There you go. It's not even a natural color or anything like that. It's a high vis color. But the water is has some stain, which is another, you know, good luck. Ugh. What is this noise now? Cutting the grass right now. These people, man. Okay, where was I, eight or nine? I think there was nine, man. I mean, if I'm wrong, I'll just correct it. I always lose count. I'm gonna count this fish as 10. See, with two and a half pound, you have the courage to kind of lift them a little bit. I'm upset that I didn't count them. But okay, that's 10. I will correct on the screen the number when I publish the video. There was a fish, but... Is this a fish now? He took it with some... some bad feelings. Feels like a big bluegill, very fast and very fast and aggressive. No oh, decent black crappie. <laughs> that was a good hit, man, like a bass. He hooked good. He is, let's boat flip him. <laughs> nice 11 incher here. I say he's number 11 is 11. But who knows what the real count is. <clears throat> Good cast. There's gotta be a fish on this cast. And this wind again. It's good for fishing, but a little bit too strong. Okay, that's 12. Wow. I think 12 is 12 inches. 11 was 11 inches. 
grab him. That is a good crappie, man. That is a good crappie, guys. I'm so happy that I caught him and not anybody else. Look at this. Gorgeous crap is starting to spawn. I see some damage on the tail. Let's keep going. Let's check the time. Wow, I still have 15 minutes. I'm on fish number 12. If I don't get a big walleye or musky to spook them, By the way, I think uh, I'm not sure what the number is to be because I haven't seen my other video, but I think I caught 20 or 19 uh, about two hours ago. So let's say 20 is the number to beat or at least catch. See, the wind stopped and I'm way too close to the fish now. I'm sorry about the noise, guys, but what to do? Go. 13 Got 13 is here I don't know if I want to lift these fish They're a little bit too big I probably can with this line but A little bit too much to bolt flip with the eradicator. No, this is the St. Croix. Yeah, I think with this line and with the St. Croix, I can bolt flip him, but then maybe I'm gonna lose him. Why do that? Now, if it wasn't for this dude deciding to cut the grass right now, it'd be perfect. That was 13, let's get 14. That's a good cast as any. Oh, we got 14. 14 is here. I got good fish, guys. I don't know if I should net him again. I'm getting tired of netting all of these fish, but they are all pretty good. <clears throat> Look at this fish again. Number 14. I need to find a, a different crappy tournament where they don't count the weight, but just the, just the count. I don't know many people that can catch them faster than me. We got 15. Both flip you. There you go. Let's keep going. How is my wood? The wood is starting to get ripped off, even though I crazy glued it. See, if you have to constantly adjust your wood after every cast. You're not gonna get very far. So I do crazy good and people told them told me aren't you afraid that it's gonna smell bad and the fish is gonna I don't know man. You're watching the video, you tell me, I promise you this war was crazy good. Did you see me adjust the lure on the jig head even once? Said it was 15. Let's catch 16. Uh, man, twice. Mm. 
This is what I was afraid of, folks. They ate the tail and I have fished long enough to know that without the tail, it doesn't work. So I'm gonna try to cast the wind die down. I'm gonna try to cast the one gram trout magnet. Otherwise I have to go change wars. I don't think this is a good situation for float fishing. Oh, that's a good cast. Now I have to jig it. With the swim bait you don't have to jig it. Wow, this is unbelievable. I cast here a hundred times with the swim bait and I didn't snag. The first cast with the trout mag and I snagged. This is just absolutely unbelievable. Okay, which is my heaviest float? I think this is my heaviest float. I have 15, let's try to catch five more. There is always something. There's always something. I will have to get closer to the fish though because the float is just not gonna get there. Let's see if we can catch five with the with the float. And if I di if they didn't eat the tail on my swim bait. There is one. Oh my god. I don't know, this is a crappy. No, this is a crappy. Yeah, it is a crappy. It's not even that big. Why did it feel so big? Oh, I mean, it is nice. The hook is all the way down. 16. Let's keep going. Still have chance. Seven minutes left. Oh yeah, I spooked them. I spooked them pretty good. Yep. They moved on the other side of the tree. See? I got closer with the trolling motor, but you don't gain nothing. Seventeen. This is a baby. I'm gonna bolt flip him. See, I put a smaller lure, a little worm. Started catching babies instead of the nice eleven inches on the swim bait. Seventeen. I want more for eighteen. It's a tiny nickel worm. No need to fish with a tiny nickel worm offshore. This is 18. My god. 18 is a hog. Hmm. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, good cast, good distance. This is seven and a half foot Daiwa Presso with Daiwa Theory 2500. And yes, it feels perfect. This is 19. Who knows? Probably. I'm not off by more than one fish.
people tell me that 2500 is not ultra wide fishing. But what am I doing now? Ah! I saw that was too big and this hook is too small. Man, it cost me. It cost me, folks. I mean, the net is right here. Normally, I would always net 11 inch fish, but because I caught like five or six, maybe more, it's 19. This time I'm gonna net him. Get down. We're gonna get down and not net him. Too small. Plus, I saw it was hooked good. But little chromie, the hook is so slippery. Little chromie is too slippery, 19. Okay, let's get number 20. Decent cast. Not the best. It's a little bit to the left. S20. Hmm. Yeah, we're not netting this guy. Okay. Three minutes left. Let's see how many we can get. Over 20. Can't knee for longer than a minute, folks. Too old. My knees start to hurt. Uh oh, now the wind is starting to blow. Uh, and with the float, I'm not going to be able to. Damn it, I'm already too close to the tree. I need the wind to stay down. Three more minutes. Is that too much to ask? small but I don't want to lose it this guy with the grass cutting is ruining my video now man I hate that dude I don't even know him and I hate him I can see how that comes out that comes across as uh, quite unfair unfair position on my side why do you hate a person who you don't even know maybe he goes to church on Sunday and all of that don't care I hate him right now 22 I mean there was nobody here he waited until I started the video and started cutting the grass Minichu is decent. We're gonna net him just to make sure we don't lose him. <clears throat> it's a respectable crappy. Okay. Oh, 46 seconds. Time for one more fish. Gonna make it 23 or what? 35 seconds. I cast one more time. 20 seconds. I think the lead is too low and spooking them. You have like 13 seconds. 10 seconds. Ah, one more fish, come on. Well, that's all she wrote. <clears throat> See? Hi, folks. 
I guess it's 22. Thank you for watching, folks. I do appreciate the time you spend on my channel. Bye-bye.